guys, it's your girl Bree, and I'm back once again with a video, a video, a video, 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 a, a. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Bree, and I'm back once again with another video. So right now, um, I'm about to set my camera up. Hey, I'm about to set my camera up. Hold on. Let me just set my camera up. Oh, okay. My house doesn't have an address on it. If not, I will play it out. I've been looking at my butt. I'm just like set up like this. Okay guys, so basically, oh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I just want to sit like down there and then just look up here, you know, so, yeah, um, I don't even know if these rollers are high enough, anyways guys, I was going to talk to you about my depression story, okay, so it all started whenever, um, I was about, I want to say five to six years old I was I think I was five turning six like very soon like as in like January or February because my birthday's in March so it all started before my sixth before my sixth birthday and basically um I had a lot of stuff going on in my house and let me just hold the camera because y'all guys need to hear this um there's a lot of stuff going on in my house um first of all we were unstable. I was raising myself. My brother was raising himself. We were raising ourselves, which is totally wrong. Like, you should raise your child, or your grandparents should raise the child. You know, that's what I believe in. Like, either you can raise your own children or give to the grandparents, because I don't believe in, like, us, like, being put into somebody else's custody and everything else. Like, I don't believe in, like, I believe in foster care in some cases, like, I guess I love foster care, like, it actually helped tremendously, and basically, like, the first group home wasn't all that, like, I hated it, but after we went to court, you know, got that jump change, I was in the other group home for about six months, I was in the first group home for, like, two years, honestly, and I was in the second group home for six months, and that's where they had horses and stuff. So, you already know, like, where are we going with this story? You know, I was a horseback rider. Yeah, I trained on horses. Um, I could honestly say I was a horseback rider because I did derbies and stuff. Horse derbies and stuff, so. Yeah. This water keeps on dripping on me. I got like, ugh. Let me move right here. Okay. I'm gonna hold myself up. Try to, cause this thing right here was holding this thing right here was holding me up. But um, I'm gonna try to hold myself up. But um, anyways, yeah, guys. Um, that's when my depression started. Was whenever we was having to raise our own selves. And y'all say, who is raising you from age zero? <clears throat> I'm sorry. <coughs> age zero to five or six years old. My grandma was, but the thing is with my grandma, she was handicapped, like, I don't care what my brother says, like, she was handicapped, she had her whole entire hip was deteriorated, we don't even know how she was walking with her hip being deteriorated, I mean, yeah, she had, like, a lot of fat on her hips or whatever, but the thing is that her hips were deteriorated, and people with hips deteriorated are usually paralyzed or usually... You know, in so much pain where they can't even walk. And that's how my grandma was. She took it, like, she didn't even know her hip was deteriorated until she went to the hospital for a car accident. And they said her hip was fully deteriorated. They said her kneecap was fully, almost fully deteriorated. So they don't even know how much, like, they, like, they knew how much deterioration was in her knee and her hip. But, um, they wouldn't tell their family because it was, like, I was just, like, a little bit... Until, like, it's fully deteriorated. So, yeah. So, that's, like, really, really sad. And my grandma is not, she died in 2013. And that was really depressive for me because... Actually, no, I take that back. 
Yeah, she died in 2013 because my mom died in, um, like, I think it was, like, before my birthday or something like that. And then my mom died, my grandma died after her. Because my grandma actually was, went to told me at the group home that my mom had died. But, um, anyways, this is just a story time, you know. Um, look at the beautiful, beautiful. Hold on. Let me just try to zoom really nice you know but um yeah guys oh hex no I did that horribly I, I know don't roast me there's a little bird in there it's gonna fly away it's a little birdie it's a little oh my god TV? Huh? You don't want to be on YouTube? You don't want to be on YouTube? Come on now. You know you want to be on YouTube. You know you want to be on YouTube. You want to be a famous bird? Huh? You want to be a famous bird? Then turn around and look at me if you want to be famous. Because I need a whole entire body perspective. Hello? I used to stand like a statue now, but when I come down there, what is it over there? Trying to be. Mmm. Hey, you can Ooh. Okay, guys, so basically, um. Yeah. He is so like cow manure out here and we're not even in the farm we're in the city so yeah guys i just want to say that i love you guys and um that is my little story time for you guys and i was in depression because of me having to raise myself and because of like all the deaths in my family my uncle died whenever i was really young like he was like my allowance giver, like, you know, like, I don't really care about the money, but, like, you know, he was the one that, like, shared memories with us, actually shared memories with us, like, he bought our first phone, like, he, he bought our first flip phone, you know, he bought our second phone, he bought our third phone, you know, like, each year he would upgrade us to a different phone, I had my first phone at, like, four years old, because of security reasons, like, in our neighborhood it was not safe at all, and basically, um, yeah, um, People going to work so yeah guys um i would just say like this video please because the business are coming up like and subscribe if you want a part two to this of why i was in depression so much or like how my mom <clears throat> how my mom died or how my dad died or whatever like i will do a story time on that because i need to raise awareness to this stuff i need to raise awareness to north carolina hospitals to florida hospitals you know i need to raise awareness they can't just send people home five times when they had a heart attack. They had a heart attack five different times, and or heart problems five different times. Came to hospitals every single day that week, and then on the sixth day he died. So that's pretty sad. So if you want a part two to this, um, I will do a part two to this. If you like this video, please give us a like. That's how I would know if you want a part two to this. If not, just don't do anything. You know. Um, just comment down below if you want a part two, also. Um, if you get, got to the end, put a, um, put a, like, a heart eye emoji. Heart eye, uh, smiley face emoji. Do, do that one. I don't have my phone on me to show you guys. Yes, I don't have my phone on me. Like, it's in the house. Um, but yeah, guys, don't leave a race. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next daily vlog. Peace.